Well, hello. I want to talk to you today about a fun pen that I recently purchased. Uh, now, I spent a lot of money recently getting a used Visconti Homo Sapiens. This isn't it. We're going to look at the other end of the price scale. Pilot Varsity. Now, the Pilot Varsity is kind of an interesting pen. It's disposable. I actually, uh, I've, I've recounted some of the pens I've owned. I got to thinking about it. I've owned a few Pilot Varsities over my life. Not many, because I don't like disposable pens. I never have. Uh, Pilot Varsity is a disposable pen. You can refill it, but it, it's a bit of a challenge because you have to very carefully pull out the nib and feed without bending the nib. I have refilled one once, but I bent the heck out of the nib and then I spent forever unbending it, making it work again. So I'm not, not a... I'm not going to recommend refilling it. There are easier pens to refill. Now I'm curious with this one, I see there's a little knob here at the end. Maybe I'll experiment once this one's empty. Because um, here's the thing with Pilot Varsity. Cheap, disposable, but you know what? It writes really well. This is a nice pen to write with. Now yeah, it's not that attractive. It may not be 100% the most comfortable pen. You don't get gobs and gobs of line variation. But doggone, if the thing isn't nice to write with. Lays down a nice line, looks good on the page, and this isn't a bad color of purple. I like it. Um, I, I'm not going to buy any more. I basically bought this one so I could do a review. Uh, usually I don't buy pens just to do a review, but at the price of a pile of varsity I said, what the heck. Um, so let's talk about what I do and don't like. Well, what I like this cl clip here is a lot like the uh, clip on some of the other Pilot pens with a little ball and everything. It fits well in the pocket. It's a nice size. It is a lightweight pen if you're into that kind of thing. If you're not, well, you know, it's lightweight. Um, I don't like the sticky residue from the sticker, but, you know, if I would have actually taken the effort to use a little bit of vegetable oil, I could get that off. But you know what? I don't care. Um, it's not a demonstrator, but semi-translucent you can see enough through it that you can kind of get a gauge of the ink level I like that um, I don't know what else to say I uh, would I buy it again I think I already said that no but uh, not a shot against the pen I just I don't care for a disposable pen I prefer a pen I can refill I uh, don't even know how I'd recycle this honestly and you know I live in southwestern North Dakota where apparently people don't want to buy bothered to recycle because doggone big government or something all right so uh, let's talk size capped this guy's about a whoops maybe light him up maybe screw on the cap with the other pen this is about a quarter inch shorter than a uh, um, noodler's conrad uncapped snap cap by the way uncapped he's probably half an inch shorter than a noodler's conrad posted He's probably, I don't know, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch shorter than the Conrad. A uh, girth is actually about the same. And there's not a bad step down or anything, so that's not bad. And I haven't had issues with this pen drying up because uh, I bought it, but I haven't been writing with it as much as I thought I would because I've had a number of other pens, including the Visconti that I mentioned. So, so hope that was interesting. Hope that was useful. We'll see you later. Well, I'm going retro with my writing sample because I actually did record a full writing sample with everything. And then apparently there was no audio involved. So I'm starting over. I'm just going to do it on the regular Rhodia paper just because it bothers me to have two writing samples of the Pilot Varsity in my notebook. So Pilot Varsity is a very uh, surprisingly nice writer. Uh, it writes very smoothly. It's comfortable in the hand. It feels good. It has kind of those quality touches. But again, what do you expect? It's a Pilot. Pilot makes good pens. They make very quality pens. And yeah, it's a disposable pen. That's a strike against it. But what a nice writer. Uh, don't look for a whole lot of line variation with this pen. Although if you want to experiment and really force a pen... Just see what you can get out of it. This might be the one to do that with. Let's do our quote. Let's 
So as, as a first fountain pen, if you just want to try them out, this would be one that you could give somebody. When you cap it, this guy does not dry up. He's a He starts up right away like a champ as soon as you start writing, even if you go a week or two without using the pen. So all in all, nice quality writing experience, especially when you consider the price point. But even if you don't consider the price point, this is a good pen. So thank you for watching. We'll see you later.